Hey there, Ian from the future here uh, with a little update about Run an Empire. Uh, this is being recorded on June 26, 2018, um, about a month after the original preview uh, was published here on Second Opinion. Um, pretty soon after after I recorded and published uh, that preview, they um, updated the beta with uh, a few tweaks, so I would like to let you know uh, what those are. Uh, but after this, uh, I'm also leaving the rest of the uh, original review um, online just for posterity's sake. Um, so as you're listening through that, just keep in mind all of the uh, the new information that I have here that may contradict stuff from the original. Um, and in those cases, this uh, new information uh, is what is real at this point. So, uh, first up, the economy has been tweaked. So, um, the value of coins is drastically different. I don't remember exactly what the uh, ratio was, but um, coins are now worth much, much more than they used to be. Um, and I think that they did this because, um, yeah, a lot of times we were running into like the cases where I had too many too many coins were were being spent uh, on a particular thing um, for the for the 64-bit integers to to deal with in the game. Um, also, you can now no longer just like buy as many upgrades as as you know you have coins for uh, for for a particular building potentially. Um, a lot of times, the the upgrades will become grayed out after you have bought enough of them. Um, but I have still discovered that I can upgrade um, my buildings to the point where like the values for those for for how much it costs. Uh, to, to buy an upgrade for those um, rolls over into a negative number, um, which is a symptom of you know, going above the maximum integer that's allowed in the 64-bit system. Um, also, the, uh, the buildings that I have in my kingdom now actually appear on the hex grid, um, kind of like in Civilization, if you've ever played one of those games. Um, so it's no longer just like I have a single palace that takes up a single hexagon, uh, on the map, and then all of these other buildings that I'm, that I'm, you know, buying and upgrading, uh, are just kind of imaginary, like they, they exist on that same hex. Uh, each one of these buildings now has their own hexagon that they occupy. Um, I'm not sure if that means that, like, if, if somebody else... Uh, carves out a piece of my territory and um, steals some of those hexagons away from me if I lose those buildings as well. Um, but uh, that's that's something um, to take a look at more when, when multiplayer is a little bit more fleshed out in this game. Speaking of multiplayer, there actually is some now. Um, so some hexagons on the on the uh, map uh, have castles on them, and these aren't like these aren't one of the buildings that I have built as part of my kingdom. They just exist periodically uh, out there on the map, and um, those are the those are the points that you want to capture uh, as part of this like um, multiplayer experience. Uh, and they seem to give some sort of bonus, but I'm not sure exactly what they are. And then finally, uh, anti-cheating is now something that they are working on in the app. Um, it doesn't seem to be fully finished yet, um, but it has successfully detected that I was moving too fast while I was biking. Um, and then it asks me a question like, hey... It looked like you were moving too fast. We'll still give you credit for this run, uh, but you know, just tell us like, were we right or were we wrong when we when we guessed that you were uh, not running? And um, so it seems like what they're doing there is just trying to gather as many data points as they can from you know real life users on um, so that they can better, more accurately uh, detect people who are cheating once the once the app. Um, fully launches. So, uh, yeah, in the, in the interest of helping out the developers as much as possible, I've been answering truthfully every single time that, uh, oh, nope, yeah, I was running, so, or I was biking. Um, so those are the updates. Uh, now please enjoy the uh, original preview of Run an Empire. 